Hello everyone, welcome back to our second tutorial on the social website. As part of this tutorial, we will cover um, our local environment configuration. More specifically, we will alter the Windows host file as well as the Apache virtual host file to, um, to make it easier to navigate during throughout our project. So currently what we are doing is typing localhost slash project name which in this case was catchup slash public folder and that will take us to the Laravel project. And I have my server up and running, my Apache instance and my SQL instance. Instead of doing this, what we will cover in this tutorial is we can just simply type catchup.com and it should take us to the exact same page. Currently it's not doing that, it's taking us to a random page but what we wanted to do is take us to the exact same page with that URL. That would make it easier during our development process just because we won't have to type the same route all the time and we will not have to modify it when we go ahead and deploy this to production. That way, uh, we just um, the if we set that up during development, all we have to do when we go to production is we don't have to make any changes to our URL or routes. Let's go ahead and get started. Open your wind, uh, your Notepad app, uh, and make sure when you open Notepad, you right-click and, and run it as an administrator, as you will need administrative uh, access in order to um, alter this file, make changes to it. Next, go to File Open. We will navigate together there. So make sure you go to your PC or click on My Computer, then Windows. Next is System32, and look for Drivers. Once you go there, make sure you click on Etsy folder and change to view all files. Click on host and in here this is a, a mapping. So this maps the IPs to the server names. So here's what we're doing is currently we're typing localhost slash ketchup slash public. But under the hood what it's doing is actually just typing this IP 127.0.0.1 and it's taking you there. So to prove that, I'm going to go ahead and copy these and paste it up here and then just type ketchup slash public. And if you see, that will take us to our Laravel instance running here on the server. Okay, what we want to do now is we want to do that. We want to achieve this exact same thing, but instead of typing localhost, what we want to type is ketchup. So when we type ketchup.com within our browser, we want uh, Windows to know that we're actually referring to our, to our local server. Okay, so go ahead and type this in here and save it and then close it. Next, navigate to where you installed your, uh, your uh, server's instance. In my case, I'm running XAMPP, so I'm gonna go to XAMPP and then Apache, conf folder and then extra. In here, you will notice there's a file called vhost. I'm gonna open this one as this is the file that we wanna alter. I'm going to copy one of these commented out lines here and I'm going to put it right under it. And here is what I want to uncomment this. Same thing down here. And I will remove these uh, log files as the, I don't want to log anything. Uncomment the next three lines. Our server name, I will type ketchup.com. The important part is right here, which is the document route. So what that means is when I type ketchup.com, Windows will know I'm, I'm referring to my local server. It's going to come to this um, vhost here. It's going to see, hey, I see this ketchup.com, a server name with a ketchup.com. Okay, now where do I want to point or where, where do I need to look for the index file? So we're going to tell it to look at hcdocs ketchup slash public. Since this is our local server, I will just simply type here admin at ketchup.com. This won't affect anything. And as if you notice, this by default is port 80, as is everything else locally. You can change this port if you want, but I will leave it as a, as a default. And save this. Now that I've saved this, I want to go ahead and close this file. But to for this to take effect, you will actually will have to restart your Apache instance. So I'm going to stop it from running. I'm actually going to stop both, although you need the Apache instance only. Start Apache, start MySQL, 
again you don't need to start MySQL if you don't want and now if we actually type ketchup.com it should take us to this exact same location it doesn't currently that's because it has been cached so what I want to do is actually uh, clear the cache from my browser I'm currently using Google Chrome but there's a shortcut you can just uh, click on Control shift delete and click on the clear browsing data I cleared all that now so now if I go to ketchup.com this should know is our local server and it does know now and it's pointing us to the correct document route so that was it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment don't forget to leave a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel there's a link on the bottom left of this corner so click on that and um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial thanks for watching